Okay, so let's have a quick look at a way of selectively adjusting certain areas of an image. So what we want to do in this image is basically just bring out the greens on this rock, um, add a little bit of a glow from the sun, and just enhance the details a little bit just on the foreground. So the way I like to do this is once I have my image open in Photoshop, I basically create another layer with the areas we want to adjust. So lots of different ways of doing it. We can either control J uh, and we can use a levels adjustment and just brighten everything up. Uh, we can use curves. We can use any sort of adjustment we want. But the way I like to do it is actually grab my original raw file. So if we go back and we reopen our raw file, Okay, it reopens our original file, and then I like to just work from the original raw file. So if we just zoom in, this is the area we're looking at. We're just going to increase our exposure a little, uh, add a bit of contrast, add some clarity, um, and just warm it up a little. So somewhere about there looks good, and then we open that up. So now we have our background layer, our original photo, and then we have the areas we want to enhance. So we're just looking at the rocks and the weed. So now we want to blend them together to give it a natural look. So we can pick up some of this sunshine glowing on top of the rocks and on top of the weed, um, and really enhancing the details in these areas. So with our adjusted layer, we grab that, just click and drag with the move tool, place it on top. Okay, so then we have our adjusted layer on top and then what we want to do is just select the areas that we want to enhance so we don't need to do anything in the water or the sky we just want to enhance the weed on these rocks so if we grab our quick selection tool it's the fourth tool down you may need to right click and then click click on the quick selection tool and then with the quick selection tool our square bracket keys will increase and decrease the size so we just want it to fit inside the area and then we just paint and drag and we just select the area that we want to enhance and we grab a little bit of that, a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Okay, just make sure that we've got the area selected. Okay, so around about there. Now depending on which version of Photoshop you're using, this next step may be slightly different. Uh, but what we want to do is just smooth out the edges just a little bit. So as you can see, we've bled off into the background up there, but that's okay, we'll fix that in a second. And the way I like to do it is just have a radius of two, a smoothness at 20, and a feathering at two. It'll just make the edges a little bit smoother, um, especially when we're dealing with, with rocks or something with some nice hard edges. And we hit OK. Okay, and as you see, it's just selected an area up here that we don't want to select. So what we can do is if we grab our quick selection tool again, hold the Alt key and that will take away from our selection. So we just take that away and that looks a bit nicer there. Okay, so with our selection made, what we do is hit Control J and then that will create another layer with just the areas we've selected. Okay, so now that we have the areas that we want to adjust, we can get rid of our, our brighter or our adjustment layer and we can delete that one. Okay, so then we're left with just the background and the areas that we want to bring out. Okay, so now we want to make it look a little bit more natural. So a great way of doing this is if we hit the hold the Alt key on your keyboard and select a layer mask. So with the Alt key held down, click layer mask, and what this does is it creates a black layer mask. So it's blacked out that top layer. So now what we need to do is grab our white brush tool. So click the brush tool. So select the brush tool. Uh, make sure we're on white. You can use the arrows to alternate between black and white or X on the keyboard between black and white. And then we just turn our brush down. So we want a opacity between 15 to 20. And we want our flow around about 30, between 30 and 40. Okay, so white brush selected, click on our black layer mask, and then what we can do, we can, it doesn't matter how big the brush is at this stage, we can just start to paint on some of that glow, and as you can see, that weed is starting to really glow and come through the original image. Now we don't want to go into the shadows too much because the sun is shining this way, it's just lighting up the top of the rocks, 
So we want to try and keep it as natural as possible. And there's our before and there's our after. And as you can see, because we've just selected that area, it's not painting off into the background. It's just painting the areas that we want to enhance. Okay, and then we can we can zoom in, make our brush a bit smaller and just select the areas we want. So just with a white brush, painting onto that black layer mask, we're painting in the adjustment layer that we've done. Okay, and then just a little bit up here, we'll add a bit of a glow to the top of the rocks, just where the sun's shining. And maybe just brighten up the buildings in the background just a little bit as well. Okay, so there's our before and there's our after. And as you can see, it's just added a nice glow to the rocks, just a bit where the sun would be shining. So that's a great way of just selectively adjusting certain areas of your image. Just select the areas you want, create a black layer mask and then paint it back in. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you did like it, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. There'll be lots more videos coming up. Um, again, aimed at beginners, people just learning Photoshop. Just some very simple steps at this stage. Simple but effective. That's what I'm here for. So if there's anything you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Um, or if, there's, if, you, if you think there's a better way or an easier way of doing it, let me know and I'll check it out. Okay, so that's it for this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.